Hey everyone, today I'm going to be starting a new tutorial series about how to make a theme using uh, WordPress. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know what WordPress is, basically it's a blog tool um, that it's very modular in terms of making themes for it and plugins. I've done both for my website, and so I'm going to share some of that knowledge with you. Um, now, here's the website that I'm going to be replicating. This is just a regular HTML page. Um, that I found at Born Games Forum um, that we're going to be turning into a WordPress theme that looks like this. Now uh, these are posts all this post data is just from my uh, plugin site so that's why you have titles like that and I'm actually going to give you a file that you can use to add all the posts um, to your own site if you want to just use it for testing. Um, but first before we start a good reference that I want to show you is the WordPress Codex and uh, if you go to the main page, it doesn't show you all the stuff to begin with, but if you search for template tags, this is one of the most useful pages they have. Uh -huh. uh, well, I'll just give you the path on the side of the video. It's this page. It lists pretty much anything you can add to your theme so that you can uh, add some information to your page and I'll explain how to use all of those things or well, at least the relevant ones to uh, your website so for starters I'm gonna here's the HTML for the page that I showed you before just the uh, the plain page this is um, he's this is from uh, Daxter Speed he's one of my subscribers He's actually done a really good job of commenting this, although I um, I did have to move some stuff around just to make sure it just to make it more easy to read. Um, so this is the HTML that we're going to be using in our theme. Now I am assuming you already know how to set up a WordPress site. Um, hopefully you have some prior knowledge of how WordPress works, not the code, but just how it works overall. Um, so what we want to do for starters is we want to create a new theme. Now, if you go to your uh, WP content, you'll have a folder called themes. In that theme, we want to make a new folder. I'm just going to call it tutorial. This uh, folder name doesn't actually affect the name of the theme you have. Now, uh, when you're going through a, when you're making a new theme from scratch, and that's how we're going to be doing it, I recommend going into Kubrick or the default folder and looking at some of the things they have in there. Now you can see there are 14 pages, 14 PHP pages that we're going to use. Um, uh, let me just extend that. Okay, yeah, there are f uh, 14 pages. I've counted them beforehand. Let me just tell you, there's one, or, there's three or four of these we're just not going to use at all. Um, but I'll get into that in a later video. What we want to do right now is open up the style.css. If you look at the top here, there's a list of there's this whole area that's been commented out there's theme name, URI, description, stuff like that we actually want to co copy that into our own theme directory because this is this commented information is how WordPress uh, identifies each theme um, let's see. so in our tutorial folder the first file we want to make and I find a shortcut if you just go to uh, right click new text document and then you can just rename it uh, the first file we want to make is style.css. Now we're going to open that up, and this is actually the wrong program. Now it's completely empty, so I'm just going to paste that in. I'm just going to change the name, otherwise you'll probably run into some uh, compatibility issues. And again, this isn't important, so I'm just going to leave everything the way it is. Um, but the point is the theme name that... Uh, uh, it tells WordPress what we want to do. Now, if I went into WordPress right now and activated it, I could. However, there are no files, so you wouldn't get any output. It would just be a white screen. So at this point, I would not recommend switching to this theme. However, we're going to make our first two files uh, in the theme directory so that you can s activate this as a theme. And those files are going to be... Actually, we're going to start with three files. And it's going to be called header.php. And yes, everything we do here is going to be written in PHP. Um, no HTML, although, as I've said in my PHP tutorials, and hopefully you've watched those just so you have a basic understanding of how PHP works. Um, but as I've said in those tutorials, you can just have val plain HTML on a page. 
and it will uh, come through on a PHP file because a PHP file really is just HTML with uh, with um, PHP code added. So we're going to open up header.php and it's blank. What we want to do is copy this over from the original HTML file from the Dexter Speed theme. I'm just going to copy everything over up to the sidebar. I'm not going to copy any of the sidebar information. Now I'm just going to paste that into the header.php. And now I'm going to open up the footer. And I'm going to do the same thing except with the bottom of this page. So that would be right about there. Just the I believe, yes. I'm just going to copy those four lines into footer. Now if we activate this, it still won't do anything because the first page that the WordPress um, WordPress loads by default is the index.php. Now if we open that, there's nothing there either. So what are we going to do about that? We're going to start with our first bit of PHP code in this, and we're going to uh, type get header, and that's a PHP function that will basically include that file. Um, I don't remember if I talked about includes in my original PHP tutorial, because um, I remember that sort of got cut off halfway. Um, but anyway, if you remember, PHP code is uh, open, less than sign question mark PHP, then you can type your code. So we're going to type get header. I believe that's it. And then question mark close. And I'm going to do the same thing for the footer. Okay, now we're going to go into WordPress. This is just a blank uh, WordPress blog. Um, I didn't uh, show the setting up of it on camera, but. Um, I'm assuming you know how to do that, and actually you probably already have one. And okay, so once this loads, that's the one thing I don't like about WordPress. It takes a long time to load. Um, okay, so that would be under appearance themes. And now you know the default theme we have right now is uh, Kubrick, and that's so we want this one. Now again, it has the same information just because I didn't bother to change it. So actually, we can preview that. And there's not really anything to preview right now. But let's activate it. And it says it's activated, so we can visit site right now. However, there's one more piece of business that I want to take care of while we're in the admin area. And that's I want to import some posts. Now, uh, I just want to do this because if you're using this blog as a test, uh, to test your theme, then you want some content in there to see how your theme will work, as opposed to just the one thing that's in there. So, uh, if you go go to Tools, Import, scroll down, and you click on WordPress, and I'm gonna include this with the video. This is a XML file, and you can just upload it into your blog, and it will automatically fill in all the information that you need. It'll add comments, it will add posts and pages. The only thing I don't like about it is that um, because WordPress comes with the default, uh, you know, welcome to WordPress, this is your first post, deleted or start blog. Um, it doesn't overwrite that, so you actually wind up with two of those. So I'm just gonna address that right now. Delete one or the other. It's up to you. Um, the one I gave you and the XML file has a com two comments on it, so I would recommend c getting rid of the one that WordPress gave you. So we're just going to delete that. So now if we go to visit site, there's not really anything there. Now, uh, I could just add some fake content for now, but we're not going to do that because um, we're going we're gonna to just add the real content when the time comes. However, for the sidebar, I do want to add some fake content. So I'm going to make a new fault file called sidebar.php. This is another theme page. And uh, just so you know, you can't come up with these names by yourself. These are all pre-written by WordPress. Um, so these, you actually can do a custom include, but we're not going to get into that. 
So I'm going to copy everything from sidebar beginning to end sidebar. I'm going to paste that into the sidebar.php file, save it. Now in the index, right under get header, I'm going to put php get sidebar. Now if we load the page up, we should see there's the sidebar over there. Now again, this is all just plain HTML. This is not being created dynamically by WordPress. So we're going to want to address that in a future video. But for now, the um, you can see how we make a basic theme as just, although even though it doesn't have any actual content in it.